brought to you by GTA. We start with you. The CNMI Department of Labor issuing guidance for CNMI only transitional workers or CW1, stating that they are not eligible for PUA or FPUC. A wave of public outcry after many say they were misled, may be placed on a fraud list, and must return any amount received or be sanctioned. CNMI Governor Ralph Torres weighed in at a media briefing this morning. Fortunately, um, you know, we're hoping that CW would get an approval from our U.S. Congress, uh, but um, there's none uh, assistant at this point. In the U.S. Department of Labor says CW1 workers are not considered, quote, qualified aliens. It's not clear how many CW workers out of about 10,000 applied in the NMI. Unless it's a case-by-case -case basis, I don't think uh, we should or anybody would claim an automatic fraudulent documentation simply because uh, you have good intention um, and turning that in. He explained that the CNMI must follow guidelines when it comes to federal funds. So your question is, where do they turn to? Um, I ask that they ask our U.S. Congress to, to have them included into the next batch or next relief or amendment uh, to the relief program because we don't have local funding to assist uh, CW or even our local capacity here. He says his door is open to work with Congress. Meanwhile, NMI Delegate Gregorio Sablon says the guidance is a bad decision. He added that it ignores PUA eligibility clauses in the CARES Act and is contrary to the law's intent. CNMI Labor Secretary Vicky Beneventi was not available for comment. For Guam's News Network, I'm Tomas Manglonia. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.